Woo! Let's get to work! <laughs> Dang, Jesse's looking awfully spry this morning. Must be the AG1 by Athletic Greens. Thank you to Athletic Greens for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Before we get started working on race cars, I wanna tell you about AG1 by Athletic Greens. So you guys know that we live a pretty hectic lifestyle. We don't always eat the best and we stay on the go. We don't get as much sleep as we should, but thankfully that's where AG1 by Athletic Greens comes in and helps us get the nutrition that we need each day. AG1 is daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality, whole food sourced ingredients. We're talking vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And all these are carefully curated to nourish the body's systems holistically. AG1 solved two of the most important health needs. It gives your body the nutrients it needs each day, and it provides a foundation of long-term gut health. Essential daily routines like AG1 help us set our intentions and keep us moving in a healthy direction. When we're feeling our best, we show up better just like Jesse this morning. Jesse, get over here and show us how to mix up some AG1 by Athletic Greens. All you do is pour your eight ounces of water into your mixer cup. Pour in one scoop of AG1 by Athletic Greens. Shake very well. And enjoy. I feel healthier already. Getting started with AG1 by Athletic Greens is simple. Go to athleticgreens.com slash hunt the front to get started with your first order. And Athletic Greens is giving a free one year supply of immunity supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first order. Thank you to Athletic Greens for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Now let's get to work on race cars. Y'all hung it up without me, huh? Yeah, I ain't put my name on it. Yeah, yeah, he ain't put your name on it. He done made it to the wall without even getting the name on it yet. Yeah, we talked about we needed to fill the wall up. Well, Joseph's doing his part. Jonathan, this thing looks like it's been run all year. Yeah, it looks, well. <laughs> yeah, this, you know, we put this body on here, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago now, and we knew it only had a few races left on it before we put a new body on it. So, we wanted to make sure all these panels was good and dinged up. up. You know, they have plenty of character Nobody to them. Go in the merch trailer and buy a and straight, straight brand new looking door panel. Yeah, they want one that's character. got some character, so yeah. these got some character. Ain't no, ain't no doubt about that. All right, we are getting ready. We're coming off of the win at Southern Raceway. You know, it was the bash at the beach. I thought it was the battle at the beach. Damn. I don't know what it, the, the race at the beach down there this weekend that we won. Um, Longhorn is over there. Jordan got it cleaned up yesterday. We are going crate racing this next week, staying local here, Loxley. Alabama Deep South Speedway running 602 me Friday night and then 604 Jesse on Saturday night So we got to get geared up and get ready to go get these crate motors crate cars ready to go Win some races. I hope yeah, Jesse uh, a Good chance for you and both you and Jesse both to win get a good, you know get a win here. get a good run so, Yep. I mean for Jesse uh, the 10 car is not going to be there. So. <laughs> see, you know. see, I didn't have to worry about the 10 car anyway. But I see what you're saying. When Jesse runs on 6 -0, in 604 on Saturday night, yeah. he's got as good, chan good a chance as any because yeah. you're not going to be racing. But let's all keep in mind what happened the last time Jesse was at Deep South. He spun out. Before that, he spun out. Yeah. We won't go too much into that without him being here to defend him. We'll wait for him to get here before we rub him to too much. Yourself. Guess what happened? <laughs> We're gonna cut new plastic. Yeah. Gonna be white. Oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna be white. Getting rid of the black plastic. Put it in there for spare. Yep. Yeah. Um, good job for you, Hunter. Yeah. Cutting plastic. This is jo your Jordan's cousin, right? Jordan's cousin on spring break. So we put him to work. This is Hunter. Yep. Hunter, you get the fun job of cutting out new plastic here in a minute. Got it. There's one door. There's a quarter panel. So this car I have run three times this season. I ran with Joseph and Jesse twice in the 604 division with the 602. I had a top five both times, fifth the first night or fourth the first night, fifth. I don't know, I think I was top five both times. Then we ran it with the 602s the following week and Pretty much had it one till we had some shock issues, started bouncing around all over the place. 
ended up in a wreck. The shocks are off getting serviced and fixed. And as y'all can see, we're putting the body back together. We're gonna be putting a new, new sides on it, straightening up the nose to go back and do it all over again. This is like one of my favorite things to do because it doesn't take a whole lot of precision or accuracy. Well, a little bit. Anyway, you just basically go at it and don't really worry about if you're doing it right or not because there's really no wrong way to do it. Yeah, see, I've seen Jesse drill into his side. Yeah, he was drilling right through here one time, but we didn't have the side on. He's just bowed up on it like this. And he drilled into his side, but it, it just got all tangled up in his shirt. And when he drilled drill under his side of the plastic, if the head of the river starts spinning, keep on pressing until <laughs> it melted a hole. Turns out there is a wrong way to do it. <laughs> We can straighten it. The bar must have got in the muffler. Eh, maybe, I don't, don't know. Think that's hurting anything? No, it ain't hurting nothing. You forgot it was spring break? I, just kids, kids are running around. Well, hey, when you got to have your kid at school at 7 o'clock every morning, you know it's spring break. You know it's spring break when it's spring break because you get yeah. to sleep in an extra hour or so. That's right. Put new. Uh, hey, yeah, I got. New, new? I, we have one set of already pre broken, ready to go on capital left side. I'm using it. It means you got to go build a set. <laughs> you got metal over there mm. <laughs> and a break. Mm. And a cutter. You know how to use a tape measure? I know somebody that does. <laughs> Jesse, were your ears burning earlier? No. Well, you don't remember doing that? Oh, yeah. I definitely remember doing that. <laughs> Jordan, show us. Go. You did exactly. That's exactly. That what is I exactly did. what I described earlier. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> that was exactly what I was telling you Jesse did, and I was making fun of him. I, for thought, it. He, I thought you had the door on it. No, no, no. No, it was <laughs> this exact scenario. <laughs> was it really? Yes. Well, at least you didn't cut your belly wide open. Oh, my gosh. Jordan. You ain't bleeding, are you? No, I'm not. It didn't get me, but that's my favorite sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, you can patch it up. Put some, put some electrical tape on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, being Jesse's racing this week, have you have you looked at this? I have. It's got your name right there on it. You know, I'm a little worried. Joseph's seat's pretty tight, right? Oh, you think he got it? I you mean, put on some weight? I mean... You got measured before the baby was here. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> this, I see. This one say inner chicken on it? This is your inner chicken seat? They're labeled, yeah. Enterkin? Yeah. Enterkin. <laughs> Inter chicken. In Winterkin. Winterkin. Just call me Jesse Winterkin. Ooh, fellas. Oh, this... You got it. So we did all this... No, I ain't, yeah. ain't fitting that. That? <laughs> Don't say what you ain't going to do. <laughs> okay. There you go. Huh. You Fellas, you one thing's for sure. I ain't got to worry about it. Neither one of y'all getting in that car. You sure don't. Do you bolt that in a car? You're the only one driving it. Let's be clean the seat. Dude. I don't know. I could probably... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at... <clears throat> It's a hand whip. I want to take a hoodie off. If I can't fit in this, yeah, thing, I mean, so you gotta have a suit gotta, on. Gotta go in there sideways, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fellas, this ain't gonna work. Oh, that ain't gonna work, fellas. Is it too tight? It's too tiny. I, I can't get in. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. A little bit small. Mm. Hmm. Jordan, you wanna try it? I ain't gonna get back out of it. I'll Jordan, get in it, but I ain't getting out of it. Jordan said his leg wouldn't fit in that. No, no, it's a, no, it's a super easy leg. So, 
It was a little snug, called Butler Belt. They said, don't, don't fret, just get a hammer and just beat it open a little bit and you'll be good to go. So we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna whack it and see if we fit a little better. I say like high quality risk. adjustment tool. Hey, if you can't fix it with a hammer, duct tape, or zip ties, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> throw, so throw it away. Does it need fixed? <laughs> Does it even need fixing? <laughs> okay. Okay, hold it still now. One more. Oh! I saw it move. I seen it move. Oh, it's way out there now. <laughs> Joey, that might be too much. Except I said it one time. <laughs> it's just my... Yeah, I'm just rolling right in there now. I ain't even got to roll. <sighs> should be <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, yeah, you can probably get enough on it in the car. Probably. What do you think? Is it too wide out there now, or you can come back in some here? Yeah, hold on, same time. Hit it one time. Hit it to... Oh, God! <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, oh, that's scary. Can you imagine? If you miss, hey, you just oh, knock my rib cage off. Well, did you? Hey, that. did you even feel it though? Uh, yeah, there you go. That's a testament no, so I think to we, your seat. I think it went too far, dude. We'll sit in too, there. We'll too you. far out? Huh? Too far out or in? Dang, Jason. Too far out? I'm not gonna hit you, Joe. So I'm not gonna hit you. You don't have to be just in it. Just a little it. bit. Hold on. All right, hit this one a little bit. Oh, God. Whoa. Joseph, Whoa. I swear, if you miss. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could see it moving. It looked it's like a little it, tight. Yeah. That one definitely moved. I seen I watched it move. All right. Because I want, want that one to be tight. I want it to be a little tight. You don't want to. You go in no, there. No, you, you want the right when side. You go in there and you hit the. You go the. You want. You, you, you got. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm with you, dog face. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. That's just. Yeah, let's stop hitting on our brand new seat. Yeah. Enough's enough. You drive like that or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. Here, yeah. sit right there. I'll hit it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're smaller than the high schooler, Jesse. That's pretty. How old are you? 15. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, my. Johnny's like, I'm. Y'all watch it. I'm forcing my way. <laughs> no. Not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> I was fix I was fixing to be out of uh, out of oxygen <laughs> if I got in there. You're good. You're good with it. Try it one more time before we bolt you it in. Hey, yeah, you ain't got oh, the yeah, cover yeah, in yeah, it. Y'all, yeah. yeah, put the cover in. Our movement and everything. Fine. That's, That's good. That's it. Bolt it in. Bolt her up. George's gonna probably have two bodies put on these cars before we get the seat get, figured get the seat out. Mounted. Yeah, I, honestly, after watching Joseph put the one in that car, I don't Not doubt speed, it. My friend. So like y'all saw there, we talked to the folks at Butler Built. They said it's common, especially for a smaller person, to have to do that with the rib supports here to get them just right. So it was a little tight out of the box, but I think we got her where, uh, where it'll fit just right for Jesse. Now you just got to get it in the car. A couple of other things we need to touch on. Our MD3 plastic body panels from Five Star. We were supposed to rub down the sides with a primer, which we've ordered. We weren't aware of that. So this uh, this wrap coming off is, uh, I guess we're, what I'm trying to say is it's our fault. Yeah, I, I would like to say though. Uh, Speaking of tight. Uh, Held up really good. Oh, yeah, it's got yeah. it on the wall, a couple different race cars. We're gonna peel it wrap off, put it on that same piece. Right. So the plastic held up fine. We just didn't do our due diligence. Yeah. Um well, I'll, well, it just was a lack of not knowing any different. Right. Not, not knowing that, any better. Not yeah. Ignorance not is not to. an excuse right. though. Right. Yeah. It didn't even that we chose not to do it. Because we didn't know we were supposed yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, I know but now you guys know if you get a plastic panel. You gotta, you it's, gotta put uh, an adhesive on it. Well, we'll leave a link in the description to the stuff stuff mm -hmm. that you need mm -hmm. to make sure that this sticks. Anyway, point I'm making is I know y'all a lot of y'all noticed this the other night. This was on us for not doing our, our homework and knowing how to what to prep the plastic with. Mm -hmm. So that was on Jesse and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is we mentioned at the end of the video where we broke a break had a brake issue we did not break the brake caliper the bolt broke off the bolt broke 
So it wasn't a problem with our stop tech brakes. I'd like to point out that it wasn't an ATC bolt. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we got to do better on it. We got to, yeah, our caliper bolts are going to have to come from ATC, not the hardware store. Yes. Evidently. Yes. Anyway, the brake, the bolt, the caliper problem wasn't a caliper, it was a bolt. Uh, and thankfully, it didn't cost us the wind then. You know, hopefully, we fix it. Everyone always says, especially when I was in Betty. Just so your seat's moving, your seat's moving. You been seeing them comments? Yeah. Well, hopefully we're fixing to fix hopefully it. Hopefully we're gonna fix that. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right, bottom mounts in. You we'll gonna set it in there on top. Be nice if we could just drill a couple holes in it and roll with it. Yeah, well, it'd be nice. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. You gotta finagle it just right. Easily do it. You got your steering wheel? Try that. How does it? You look low. Low? Mm-hmm. To me, I don't know. Maybe it's because you don't have all the other stuff up here yet. Well, yeah, it's probably because I ain't got the head. Yeah. Well, how do you feel? That's what matters. You look like you're leaned up way too much. You would know that if you put the top of your seat on. Okay, let's get the top yeah. of the seat on. Yeah, how you gonna talk about? How you gonna be talking about? Ah, I'll have to hand it hand here. Meanwhile, you're missing this. <laughs> how hard is that to put on? Well, you gotta get those bolts out. Okay, it doesn't look low anymore. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. So while they're in there working on that seat. Oh, we got Dirt Daddy out here spreading us some more material in the yard. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Look at there. Shoo. Oh, that's a trash. Looking good. Let's see here. Yeah, all this used to not be very level. But we're getting it now. Oh yeah. Cleaning it up out here, making it look good. We're parking our truck right here. And get it all leveled up. Bracket under the seat feels good, like you don't need to do anything different. It's, there. it's flush. I mean, far the as bottom of the height though. That don't need to be any different. Yeah. You can drive the car. Man. Yeah, I can drive it. I feel good. You got a mile up here, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay. In that bracket, I water at all. I got water. Yeah. Um, nice. We're good. And I keep coming up with a helmet on my head. And so, what you just did was mark the line the whole way down at a half inch. I or are you it cutting probably. it off? Or is that where you're doing it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut it off there. Weir's machine, little handy dandy marker here. It's got quarter inch. No, that's an inch and a quarter, excuse me, on this side, half inch on that side. So, he just ran it down the whole side. And put his marker in there and it marks the half inch the whole way down. So, nifty little tool there from Weir's machine. Do it. You're drilling a hole, you know it's where you want it. You're thinking awfully hard about this, Jesse. It's a brand new seat. Yeah, but it's a real good mark. Drill it, let's go. A pretty good mark. You took the roof off, I see. Okay, that's one way to do it. The holes are there. Lined up, don't touch it. So. Can you get down now is the question. Yes. Without kicking the seat. Yes. Might fold the deck under. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, 
butt mountain seats. Well, you're halfway done. You still got, now you got to get the back figured out. Bottom's bolted in. Just got to bolt the top. And it'll be good to go. 100%. About 75%, but yeah. Oh! I'm just kidding. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, see? I knew what I was talking about. Ready? for us for like four hours <laughs> get in there and let's see it like a regular and then you look like you belong there and you know where that belongs victory lane victory right. lane exactly so well, here we you are belong boys. there and that belongs in victory lane well then there where's that gonna put you come saturday night you know, I spun Look. out. You know, I spun out last time I was there. Yeah. No, we hadn't even thought about that today. Wait, a lot. I spun out last time I was there in a crate. No, you spun out last time you were there in a super too. Yeah, you did. And hit the wall. Okay, I had no steering shaft. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that yeah. doesn't you negate the fact. Hey, yeah. facts you are stubborn things. Too. How do you yeah, that's true. do that? No steering <laughs> shaft. Yeah, it doesn't count. You're you right. Spin out anyway, dude. <laughs> we're in here, boys. Look, look and feel good to you. This is good. Snug. There's a bug in a rug. Don't even need the seat belt in there so tight. Nope. <laughs> well, you look good. It feels good. Custom seat. There you go. Thumbs belt. up. Good stuff. All right, this car will have a roof on it, a wrap on it, and Jesse will be racing Saturday night at Deep South Speedway. Same thing with this car. We'll have her finished up, wrap on it, and I'll be racing Friday night at Deep South Speedway in the 602 division. You can watch that live on huntthefront.tv. They got a 5,000 to win pure stock race going on that weekend, this weekend as well. So uh, gonna be an interesting weekend of racing at Deep wild. South Speedway. Gonna be what? Be gonna be a wild one i don't know if it'll be as, as wild as last weekend but yeah it will be wild <laughs> thanks again to athletic greens for being the presenting sponsor of this video go to athleticgreens.com slash hunt the front to get started with your first order remember athletic greens is given a free one-year supply of immunity supporting vitamin d3 and k2 plus five free travel packs for your first order thanks for watching this video like comment subscribe we'll see you later